I was literally beefing with the dude yesterday. Oh, I found a kitchen glove. I know this is looking absolutely crazy right now. I cut myself. Is it looking better? Definitely not. Are you excited? Yes. Hello, 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 and welcome back to another glow up video. This is gonna be the craziest glow up video I have ever done, and that holds a lot of weight because I have done a lot of these videos. And the reason why I say that is because we're gonna be doing things that I didn't even know existed. New York is crazy. They got crazy people, crazy food, and also crazy self care things? I don't know. We're gonna be going on a floating bath, we're gonna be going to an ancient spa, we're gonna be doing lymphatic drainage, and then we're also gonna be doing a self tan, getting a massage, doing a full face of makeup, shaving the eyebrows, doing the whole body exfoliation shower routine, going getting an outfit, going to get a haircut, all of that shebang, and I probably missed a lot of it. So um, I'm just gonna stop talking because this video is about to be, it's about to be very long. But uh, if you guys haven't subscribed already, make sure to subscribe because I, uh, spent a lot of money for this. New York City is the most expensive place in the world. And if you guys subscribe, at least I know you guys like watching me spend money and that it's not going to nothing. Okay, let's go. Do you know how to swim? No, I don't know how to swim. <gasps> no, I'm kidding. So this is like literally first reaction for her. Are you excited? Yes. So basically, this is a floating salt pod. I've seen these everywhere, but I've never tried it, but I'm really excited. But you literally just float because it's full of so much salt, kind of just like the ocean. So you don't have to like do anything, you just float. And apparently it's like a really meditative experience and everything. We have over an hour, so I'm super excited. I have no idea what to expect. All right, I'll see you in one hour. Okay. Bye. Okay, bye. bye. I feel like the little mermaid like in a seashell or something. All right. We have earplugs? Yes. I'm so excited, y'all. What if I become like obsessed with this and then like I go to these like every day? I'll see you guys in an hour. I'm excited. Ooh, okay, they have like brushes for you, lotions, everything. Wow. That was my first time doing it. To be honest, I was having thoughts. Like I was thinking the whole time, but none of the thoughts were full thoughts. Like I would have deep thoughts about something and then I would forget completely about what I was just thinking about. And I was like saying words in my head and using words in my head that I ain't ever used before. And then I would completely get why I was using those words. That's the best way I can describe it is that I think I was like in between um, being awake and like sleeping, you know, like we're shifting from the conscious to self-conscious. Not self-conscious, <laughs> the conscious to self-conscious. Up. Next stop, she's literally always vlogging, bro. Next stop, massage. Okay. It's giving couples massage. Back to back to back to back. It is the same day. Now I'm getting a facial. I swear I've been laying down for the whole day, but listen, I'm not complaining. But this is the skin. She's on her period. Well, almost, I think. So there's a lot of uh, whiteheads. Let me do a close up. This is the skin before all right this is what the hair 
hair is looking like right now. It's giving um, ass crack length. Like literally we're almost there. But my bangs are quite long. I want them back up here. I love this corset. I have been tan and I wear it so much. You guys are like, my, I think that's your favorite shirt. I'm like, this is definitely the outfit. Perfect. Hola, 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 chicas. Listen. Time is currently 5 o'clock, party starts at 10, bartender everything arrives at 9, and I'm already, just kidding, this is an energy drink because I'm gonna need it, okay? I haven't self-tanned yet, I haven't showered yet, I don't know what I'm wearing yet. I do know what top I'm wearing though. I haven't shaved my eyebrows yet, I haven't exfoliated yet, I haven't tinted my eyebrows yet, I haven't shaved my legs yet, I haven't shaved my armpits yet, I haven't put on my nails yet, and we only have four hours, which may be a lot, but really, let's be real, it's not. So, speed mode! <laughs> to the shower we go, because I need this self-tan to at least sink in, because I'm not gonna lie, I'm looking quite pale right now. I'm looking like these cabinets are in it, right? And if you're wondering why I'm speaking British, it's because um, videographer Shot by Faces is sitting in the living room right now. He's got the UK accent. Actually, there's gonna be a couple UK baddies at this party too. Some influencers. <laughs> getting so it, yeah. New bath products, getting so it, yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to another self-care haul. Mm -hmm. Be so for real with me right now. All right. Mm -hmm. Come to the shower. So we're in the shower now. I need to shave because it's been a fat minute. But also I need to shave because to self tan, I need to shave. Okay, so first I'm gonna start exfoliating before I start shaving or else I'm gonna get ingrown hairs. So we're gonna go in with the Tree Hut Ocean Glow. Thanks to Tree Hut for sponsoring today's video. A dir, but at, come on guys, you already know I use this. But they have this um, new Shea Sugar Ocean Glow. Oh wow. The hyaluronic acid is making my skin so glowy. Scrub, 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 scrub. So, Triot's ingredients are actually inspired by the ocean. It has hyaluronic acid in it, which you guys know that I love. I use her every single day. And that just helps moisturize the skin. And it also has green microalgae, which improves the texture of your skin. And rainbow algae, which just promotes luminosity of the skin. You know, makes it like nice and shiny and glowy. But you guys can click the link in my description box to shop Ocean Glow at Ulta. You know when you like use a body scrub, but the body scrub isn't giving body scrub. It's giving it touches the water water and then it dissolves instantly. Mm -mm, not tree hut, babe. Not tree hut. Do you see that? Even with the water splash, it still go. This is sounding so sponsored. They didn't ask for this. They literally just said, hey, Mai, we like you. Please use our products. And I'm like, already do. I gotta make sure the skin's smooth, you know, just in case someone decides to. Just kidding. Nobody will be doing that. I literally got to Tommy Mats. Like, I don't have a mattress anymore, guys. Like, I literally sleep on mats. I'm not getting any action. If that was deceiving. Now it's time to shave. Personally, I like to use men's razors. Unless it's for my cooch, I like to use a specific cooch razor. Honestly, I'm just gonna use this body wash. I don't care. Whoa! Look at it, it's sparkly. Are y'all seeing that right now? It's got sparkles in it. Anyways, I'm gonna use this to shave. If you guys wanna see how YOLO I am at shaving, watch this. Ready? Go! Whoosh! 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 All right, I just shaved everything, and now we're gonna wash the body. Wow, shiny. This is also the Ocean Glow Sparkling Gel Wash from Tree Hut. Mm. And then to wash my face, I'm gonna use the Dermalogica Daily Micro Exfoliant mixed with a hyaluronic acid cleanser because I love my hyaluronic acid. Guys, get ready for the best makeup base that you've ever seen in your life. I swear I slay the makeup base. Like, my makeup's always looking like face tune. I actually don't face tune my pics anymore. Okay, self tan time. I'm just gonna be using this Bondi Sans Aero Spray. Bondi Sans is my favorite self tan. I don't know, it just never does me wrong. Oh, where's my glove? Where is the glove? Okay, well, don't know where that is, so we're just gonna use a microfiber cloth and hope it works. Personally, I like to start with my legs. I don't know why, it just goes better, I feel like. Honestly, y'all have seen me do this, I think a million, but trillion times now. It feels so odd doing it with the glove. It's like not, it's like absorbing too much. Guys, I found a kitchen glove. I know this is looking absolutely crazy right now, but just uh, trust the vibes. All right, you know what? I'm gonna finish this and come back because what's going on? Like. I don't know. All right, self-tan done. Don't know how good it is though, okay? But now we have to shave the motherfucking eyebrows. This is honestly my favorite part because I feel like 
sorry, I'm not trying to give you a headache. Give me one sec, I'm fixing the tripod. The reason why this is my one of my favorite parts is because I think that eyebrows literally shape your entire face. So I'm just gonna use the MAC serum to do the brows. Usually I like to use an oil, but listen, I'm not trying to get my eyebrows all oily, okay? So there's literally no system to this. I just like to take a razor. I got this from Amazon, I'll link it down below. And I literally just, ugh. I literally, I cut myself. Okay, maybe be careful when you do this and don't be like me. I just didn't realize how actually sharp this thing was. Do I want to do my upper lip? Sure, why not? Okay, so I have this Hello Kitty shot glass and now we're gonna get started drinking early. I'm kidding. I'm going to be tinting my eyebrows now because, oh my God, girl, I actually just made my eyebrows bleed. Um, how do I do this? I have the colors in here and now I'm just gonna wing it. Don't know, girl. Don't know, don't care. And now, get the brush. And I'm gonna give this a good mix. This looks like, you already know, but I'm not trying to say that. So I'm just gonna go in and tint my brows. There's no technique to this. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to like put Vaseline around your brows so it doesn't stain your skin. But at this point, we're already wilding out, so might as well just keep going. This is called the I don't give a fuck method. So now that my brows are looking absolutely crazy, girl. See, the thing is, I probably should have been more careful. Like, this could have definitely all been very much avoided. I don't know what I did to my face, but it's gotta go. Guys, I'm not trying to give angry birds right now. Guys, I'm like, can I exfoliate them? Come on, get off, get off, get off, get off, get off. Is it looking better? Definitely not. The party already already is happening in less than three hours, which to you, that may seem like a lot of time, but to me, to me, babes, I need a whole day. I need a whole day, okay? Not gonna lie, I think I slay my makeup now. I have a I have a real sink. I prep my skin by using the MAC Hyper Real Serumizer. This just moisturized my face. And then I always go in with the Welda Skin Food Cream. You guys can see it's almost used. This is my holy grail. It makes my skin like this wetness that you guys can see. But I'm gonna give y'all my tips and tricks, okay? We're gonna get into the tea. I know you're like, okay, girl, I don't care about your makeup tutorial but some do i always start off with my eyebrows because i feel like it's better you don't get all the gunk in your eyebrows and i like to use an alcohol wipe to clean my eyebrows before i get started you don't have to buy these off of amazon i'll link them down below but you can also just get like rubbing alcohol from the dollar store and put it on a cotton pad or you can just wash your face and do your eyebrows right away before you moisturize you just want to make sure your eyebrows are super clean before you get started i'm gonna go in with the abh brow freeze and then get them real nice real nice and saturated okay now that these are brushed up what i'm gonna do is brush down and around like that because I'm gonna do like a shy girl eyebrow look. This is the ABH 7B brush. It's the best eyebrow brush I've ever used. Now that we're done with that, let's get started. So I had beef yesterday. So I was at this party. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Literally one of the best setting sprays I've ever used in my entire life. This or the Max Studio Fix. Oh my gosh, such a banger, such a banger. I just ran out of the MAC one and they didn't have it for us, so I just opted for this again. But the MAC one is also really, 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 really good, okay? So I had beef with a guy. I was literally beefing with a dude yesterday, which you're like, girl, what do you mean beefing with a dude? Girl, I don't know what I mean by beefing with a dude, but yeah. Basically, there was a pool table at this place and I wanted to play pool, right? So this girl, puts down like her quarter on the table and that's how the system works to know who's next is you put down something on the table, right? And you have to pay for this pool table, by the way. You have to like insert a quarter. Cool. So we go to play and this random dude is like, um, excuse me, like I'm next. And we're like, no, like we're next. Like we were the second quarter on the table. We've just been sitting here. Like someone took our turn last time and he was like, oh no, look, I was the first person. Like I saw you guys come in like, no, 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 no. And we're like, oh my God, dude, like you're wrong, but whatever. Like we got next though, right? And he was like, yeah, 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 you guys got next. And I was like, okay, cool. But then this game ends up lasting literally two seconds like most guys and I'm like okay cool like we're next so we go up I start setting the balls up on the table grabbing the triangle putting it on the table and this was by the way the Charlotte Tilbury the flawless filter this just gives like a really nice glow to your makeup and then I'm gonna go in with a couple concealers I'm gonna go in with the LA Pro Conceal High Definition Concealer this is in the shade Peach Corrector I don't know what this does I just like to use it on all of my acne scars and by acne scars I mean my whole entire face lol and and we're setting it up and then this other dude comes up to us and I guess he's like the dude's friend that we just talked to and he's like what do you think you're doing I got next like I got next and I was like no like we got next and he's like where are your quarters where are your quarters and I was like they were just there like they just fell off like what the 
What do you mean? Like, we, we, it's, it's, it's our next turn. And I look to his friend and I'm like, we're next, right? Like, you literally just said to my face that we're next. And this man all of a sudden becomes mute. He does not know how to speak anymore. And I'm like, be so for real right now. Like, be so for real. All right, I'm gonna go in with the Kosas Revealer Concealer and then also the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. These both are my favorites. I do gotta say though, the Kosas ones are more of an OG for me. I just started using the NARS one. I don't know if you could tell here, I'm obsessed with the Kosas ones, but I'm gonna do something called underpainting, which basically means putting concealer on and then foundation after. And then he hits me with the, well, did you pay? Did you pay? And I'm like, no, because you put the money in before I even got the chance. Like I was literally out here setting up the balls. He was like setting up the balls that were already on the table. Like, did you pay? Like who paid? Who paid? And I was like, bro, like you literally butted it in and paid before I even got the chance. Like what the F? And then he was basically like, I'm next, I'm next. Me and my friend are setting up the ball, right? We, we have all of them on the triangle. But you know what this grown ass man does? You would never believe. He takes the balls and he just pushes them all on the table. Like he just f***s it up. And I'm like, what? Like I did not realize it was that serious, my guy. Like, whoa. Like after he did that, I was like, oh God, there's no winning with this dude. This dude needs anger management classes. Like what? Anyway, so I'm just like, no. <laughs> I didn't actually pay. And his friend's like, I'm not gonna lie, like that was actually really cute. And I was like, ew, like go get your friend, like control your friend, like what? So then whatever, we're about to play because my friend decided to squash the beef with him. Okay, I'm not out here squashing beef with men because all men, like I literally could care less. Like I'm not gonna be nice to a man, like I literally can't. Like if you disrespect me, I disrespect you. Oh. No, just kidding, like that's not actually my motto usually, but that was my motto because this dude was just being weird. And so we're about to play and we're like looking for the ball. We're like, where's the white ball? Like, where's the white ball? And then it clicked. When this dude pushed all the balls, he snatched the white ball off the table so that no one could play. So then I was like, he literally has the white ball. And I pointed to his pocket and he pulls it out and he's like, ha ha, sometimes I'm petty. And I was like, Ugh. instant ick, boy, bye. Like, boy, bye. Like, you. Instant ick. Like, I just know you get no words. Like, imagine fiending over a pool ball so badly. Anyways, so that happened last night. Okay, so now that we've underpainted and I blended it in with the Black Beauty Blender, which the Black Beauty Blender is the best beauty blender, by the way, if you guys were wondering. I'm gonna go in with the L'Oreal True Match in the shade W4.5. Such an amazing foundation and so inexpensive. And between every layer, I like to spray my face so that it's wet but a lot of you guys were asking for updates on my boy sitch which last y'all heard i broke up with my boyfriend that is still the situation but i'm still in contact with his friends which i don't know actually i do know how i feel about that it's fine like you know what i mean Anyways, let's not touch upon that. But y'all were asking about Pool Boy. If you guys don't follow the spam account, which a lot of you guys probably don't because I've been gatekeeping, which guys, I'm not gonna gatekeep any sooner, okay? Go follow the spam account now and I promise I'll probably let you in soon. And then for the spots that are like a little bit harder to cover, I'm just gonna make sure I put concealer on it and then I'm not gonna touch it for a minute. Basically, I was on hinge because that's how I was just inviting randoms to the party. My last party that I had because in order to make like a party fun, you need to have diverse like friend group and a different group of people. Like when I talk party, I mean, I'm acting like I throw parties all the time and I know the marketing hacks behind a party. But I think what makes like a get together so fun is like when people don't know each other because then it forces people to kind of like talk to each other, you know, instead of people like clicking in friend groups. Anyways, so I was on, this is by the way, the Charlotte Tilbury matte beauty blush wand in the shade Peach Pop. So I was on Hinge and I was just matching with a bunch of random dudes. Anyways, matched with this dude, but I didn't invite him, okay? And a couple weeks later, he just randomly hits me up. He's like, hey, what are you doing? Would love to take you on a date. And I'm like, usually like, you know, I don't know. This dude was from Sweden and I was just in Sweden and my brain just told me like, do it. You know, I was like, following my intuition so i went on the date with this guy and he was actually super fun we instantly hit it off like usually i love to play like mysterious and like who's that girl i'm gonna go in with the huda beauty powder in the shade banana bread by the way but if i were you i wouldn't get banana bread i would get baked no i don't know but i literally could not stop talking like i couldn't stop talking like it was just such a flowing conversation and sometimes i have to ask myself like is it the guy that's fun or is it me that makes it fun and i think it's me that makes it fun but this guy was just matching the energy which made it even better because typically i feel like honestly i'm usually the entertainment when have i told you guys this i feel like i've told you guys this right i don't know actually if i said this before i'm so sorry but i just 
usually love to date an introverted dude because typically they're just weirder, okay? They're just weird. But I love a good weird dude. Like I, I'm, I'm for the weird. Like I just feel like they just have such interesting beliefs. But that also means that usually I'm the entertainment and then they're just kind of entertained and bouncing off of it. But this dude was kind of matching the energy a little bit and I've never really had that. Like I would say he's like more extroverted, which typically like I'm not really into extroverts again because I just love a weird dude. But I'm trying to branch out and like maybe not do what I'm usually doing because clearly what I'm doing is not working. Anyway, so we go to the Swedish restaurant, we try Swedish food, and then after that, we walk to a dessert place, but while we were waiting for the dessert place, like, because there was a wait list, we were just walking around, and then we ended up in this, like, Buddha crystal kind of shop, and while we were there, the owner, like, started playing the bowls and everything like that for me, because he was like, oh, are you interested? And I was like, yeah, I would love to hear, so we started playing it, and it was just a vibe, like, I was there breathing, like, <sighs> You know what I mean? And it was just like a vibe. And then we ended up stopping at a pool bar, a billiards bar, that's what it's called. And we ended up playing a couple rounds of pool and it was honestly low key romantic. Like he was like guiding the pool for me and everything. It was straight out the movies, okay? Like he was helping me and I was like acting like I didn't know a lick of pool even though I have a pool table in my house. But something about men is they love the hero complex. They love feeling like they are, they are needed and they love feeling like a man. So anyways, that was cool and then we went to a dessert spot like we went and we got cookies at like literally 12 o'clock and we sat on a bench in front of like this bar and people watched and then we um <laughs> But he hit me up the next day and he was like, hey, pool queen. So now it's a running inside joke on the spam account that my new title is pool queen because I am a pool queen. So y'all were asking about updates for that. And that was the update on that, you know? The powder is very important. I know it's outdated. People don't like using powder, but I feel like powder just literally fixes anything. Like if I up on contour or something, powder instantly. Boom, she's fixed. All right, just completed both lashes. Now I'm gonna go in with mascara. Literally doesn't matter what you use because you're not even gonna see it anyways. I either go in with the Maybelline Sky High, which you guys can see this is all messed up, or the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. Both of these are amazing. I'm actually gonna go in with the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, I need to focus on my brows. Be right back. Oh my gosh, I saw off the shower. I have not washed my face. And tan off. Girl, be so for real. All right, time is currently 8.28. People are gonna be here in 30 minutes. Um, I need to shower because the self tan is still on me. I don't, didn't finish my makeup. My hair is not, oh uh, yeah, I'm gonna shower. Okay, 18 minutes until DJ comes, but I'm gonna moisturize since I just showered. Honestly, I don't know if I got any more tan, but whatever, I'm gonna use the Ocean Glow by Tree Hut. Look how satisfying this is. Whoa, wait. Do you guys see how thickums this is? Oh my gosh. Oh, it's blending in. You know what I hate? I hate when lotion doesn't blend into your skin. I just started lotioning like this year, last year maybe, and I've been I've been a connoisseur when it comes to it. I have my favorites, and I know when I like one, and I know when I don't. But this one I do like. Doing the last two pieces of hair. DJ just got here. I'm feeling my heart is thumping right now and I thought I was stressed, but I think it's just the excitement. Like I had to clock myself and be like, wait, Ma, you're not stressed. There's nothing to be stressed about. Like, I think you're just genuinely excited. Like, and I switched my thoughts to that and I was like, wait, you are really excited. What? Like, that's the feeling, not stress. And I was like, oh my God, wait, like now I'm feeling good. Sometimes you need to stop and really ask yourself, how are you feeling? It can help a lot. Okay guys, I know this is a crazy update, but this is the outfit now. My mom's about to do my nails. We're putting the jewelry on. Time is currently 9.45. Um, this top is from Dana Foley. It is my favorite store in New York. Like it was a reward for 3 million for me to like buy this shirt because it's a very expensive store, but genuinely it's my favorite store ever. So whenever I need something for a special occasion, I go there. So I feel like it has a very special place in my heart and I feel really good about this outfit. The hair is complete. I just need to brush it out. Guys, look at these. I got these for the screen movie premiere, but this is gonna be so good for tonight. This is a trial of Lumify eye drops that I just got from this spa. I've had them before, but I just ran out. But these are the best eye drops ever. They make your eyes like just pop, like white. It's crazy. Guys, the party's going. I'm not gonna lie, like, I'm having thoughts in my head right now. You know those like insecure thoughts that you have in your head where you'll, where, I don't know, something in my head is being like, oh, nobody's gonna be here, da 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 da. But I'm telling myself, my, like, that's literally your past self, your inner child trying to speak to, like, speaking to you like with her insecure thoughts. Like that's not real anymore. Like get rid of it. Like I'm trying to break the trauma right now because I am literally used to have that feeling all the time. I used to have the feeling all the time of like nobody cared for me or nobody wanted to show up. And that's what I'm trying to tell myself in my head. But I know it's not real. You know, like it's just telling me this and I'm having to tell myself being like it's not real. Now. I'm gonna go for the OG classic, the one I've been wearing the longest. Victor and Rolf. Victor Flower Bomb Nectar. I can't say it guys. Flower Bomb Nectar 
Victor and Roll. This is what I've been wearing for the past five years. It's so good. I wore it today. Daniela was like, oh my gosh, my what is your what are you wearing? That's the first time she's ever asked. So it's good. Try it. If you stay till the end of the video, go comment on this Instagram picture that my mom took on Instagram and go comment on um, um, pool queen with the pool emoji. This is clips of the party, but you can see more of that on Instagram because I don't want to post it on here. Okay, bye. Hope you enjoyed the video. Go comment pool queen. I'm thinking I should have rest all night long. She putting me to the test.